assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial uh, we will see that how can you uh, visualize your watershed as a 3d object or 3d visualization of your watershed uh, into uh, arc c okay in my previous lecture i have showed that how can you delineate a watershed and how can you delineate the stream or extraction from a dam data set of your watershed so if you want to perform all these analysis that i have performed over here then you can click on top right corner we want to visualize our watershed in at our scene as a 3d view so first of all uh, just off this one and uh, we will perform a clip analysis in our build them data set so for this uh, you need to go search panel and search clip over here and now use this tool clip raster data set and input will be your fill tip this one and we want to clip this with our watershed boundary this one so make sure to check this box and hit OK. Okay, now we have received just extract our clip, our watershed from them data set. And now we will change the uh, projection of our uh, this clip, them data set and these stream waters with the help of our data frame properties. Just go to your data frame properties and select coordinate system and we are working in UTM zone 43 north and you can check your own UTM zone on Google map or Google Earth Pro. Just hit OK. Just hit OK and uh, right click on your clip them data set or clip to watershed and go to our data and then export data use special reference for data frame and then you can assign a uh, output to your file and in this case projected watershed and extension will be in tip and just save now again project reproject your these uh, water channels just make a right click on them and export data as data frame and then rename this screen order projected and now open your arc scene and go to your R catalog and then your file destination in them in WS and the stream water projected this one and uh, projected water shed okay this one so now with the help of this tool you can move your uh, layer and uh, with the help of this tool you can pan your layer so now we will assign color to our watershed or dam data set just like this so the higher values uh, elevations are representing with red color and the lower uh, elevation values are representing with uh, blue color and then make a right click on your raster data set go to its properties and then base heights and just increase this base height to 3 and hit it ok just like this ok now again go toward your shape files that are actually representing the stream orders of this watershed and then go to its symbology and then categorize them on the basis of grid code 
just uncheck this one and add other values and give current to your stream orders Okay, now go to its base height and increase them into 5 and hit OK. So you can change the base heights like just like 4. Okay, now it's quite good. So you can see over here that uh, this the polyline that having the grid code value of 1 is actually representing a, a, a stream that is falling into its prior stream that is representing with the yellow color and then these streams further uh, going into another prior stream that is representing with the blue color and then all those blue colored streams finally fall into the main transporting stream of this watershed you can change this color into something like green so now it's quite good so many thanks for watching this tutorial and take care a lot peace